What's up, everyone? This is Strix97 back for another tutorial. And today, this is this topic topic that we're about to do today is how to record your 3DS in a cheap way but in HD. So first of all, you need two 3DS or DS game car uh, game cases just, such as Kid Icarus Uprising or like such as Pokemon Heart Gold or Soul Silver, so, so, uh, such games like that. Game boxes like this. So you you need one of those requirements, and you also need a 3DS charging cr cradle. Duh, everyone has one. A Nintendo 3DS stand that which came with Kid Icarus Uprising. You can buy this on, off of eBay, or there's another uh, Nintendo 3DS stand that's off of eBay. Costs around six bucks. And you need you need a recommendation. Recommendation webcam, which is called this is called the Life Cam, made by Microsoft, in HD. So let's get started. Now let's start our setup for our Nintendo 3DS recording setup. So let's do this. So now first you need to put one of your 3DS or DS boxes on the flat surface, like this. There we are. Now up next you need to put your 3DS charging cradle right here. And I'll tell you the reasoning for that. Now, put your other 3DS or DS game box right here and make sure it's touching the 3DS charging cradle. This will help the balance of the 3DS box. And now, here comes the webcam. This webcam is called the Live Cam made by Microsoft. The reasoning for this camera, because it has a very nice flexible base, which means you can clip onto any laptop or computer at your home. And this is this is very compatible with a game box. So so now watch closely how I put this on on the 3DS game box. And I'll wrap around at the top of it. And now you see it's about to fall, but since I have the charging cradle, it won't fall. Now up next, let's try to place or turn the 3DS into onto the 3DS stand that came with Kid Icarus Uprising. Alright, sorry, I couldn't find it. So anyways, here is the 3DS stand that came with Kid Icarus Uprising, as you may know. And then you place the camera, place it right here, as so. Then place the 3DS right here, as so. Now, this, this, um, just move it around a little bit so, until you get a perfect camera angle. You see, now we got our 3DS cam recording set up. And let's let's see what we can do. Okay, so now let's let's see the all the re, all the requirements of this thing. Wait a minute now, so now we got our three S all set up and everything like that. And you see, I com I have a very well comfort comfort uh, comfortable thing. To play on my 3DS, and this is so easy recording, you, you guys. Right now, I'm, re I'm recording this off the 3DS webcam, and this is a very extraordinary thing that I found interesting. And and if you want to see the uh, 3DS uh, time uh, time screen and below screen very good, make sure you you set your screen brightness settings up to two or three, not one, or also it'd be like that. You want to you want to see you want your viewers to see your top and top and bottom screen very well. So make sure your screen brightness settings are two or three. It doesn't matter what the power saving mode, as long as the the screen is screen is um medium bright. So make sure the brightness is okay. I wouldn't recommend four or five because those are those two are are extremely bright. So I just might as well keep it to two or three, either one of those. So I hope you have a wonderful time watching this tutorial, and I hope you understand thoroughly through this new tutorial on the Fellowship of Players. It's Street 97, and make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. If you want to support Jixon 97, you should either comment, like, or favor the video, box me in your channel, make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter for various updates. Last but not least is to subscribe to my channel for a bigger community. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.
See you later.